Ultra healthier eating is taking the country by storm, certainly. National restaurant chain Noodles and Company, already recognized as one of the healthiest fast food restaurants in the country, but now it's taking fresh food one step further. Joining us right now is the CEO of Noodles and Company, Kevin Reddy. Kevin, good to see you. Good morning. Thanks so much for joining us. Before we get into, you know, gluten free, cage free eggs, et cetera, how's business going? Give us an update uh, in, in terms of what sure. you're seeing out there. Business is going still pretty well. We serve over 60 million guests a year. We're going to open our 500th restaurant this month. Um, but I would tell you, it's, you, know, you guys know it better than anyone. The economy, I think, is still a little bit lukewarm. Guests are still skeptical. There's a lot of savings, paying, out, paying down debt. Uh, eating out is um, not mandatory. It's a kind of discretionary. But for those that offer the right things for the guests, like we do in our food story, um, and you provide a great experience, they're still coming out and enjoying uh, enjoying life. And by the way, for a little while, that's all people were spending their money on, right? Going out to dinner. Right. They weren't spending it on goods. Now, you have a, a long term growth guidance of 25% annual EPS growth. What's long term? Um, I would say for the bulk of the last 10 years, that's the growth rate that we were at. Um, so we're really just predicting to do what we've done in the past and the future. We've been off that. You know, as a young public but company. But you think you're going to get back? We absolutely think we'll get back to that, yes. Hey, how, how do you deal with America's aver growing aversion to carbs? That people are talking more and more about eating protein and cutting back on carbs. Yeah, sure. There's been, you know, the paleo diet was popular for a, a, a bit today. Uh, we have a perfect offering for that, our buff bowls. But I would say what we see in the diet trends is people want much more control over their diet. And because we have real flavors, real cooking, we make each dish to order, we really can tailor it to individual diets. So we don't see that as a, a strong headwind. We think it's much more important to have uh, clean labels and you know, great ingredients. A pun intended, perhaps, whose lunch are you eating? Is it other fast casual operators? Is it QSRs? Is it uh, more upscale? Is it home dining? Like, yeah. what, what, yeah, I, who who are you, you taking you, from? I, I tell you, Mike, I think it's a little bit of everything. You know, the, the one thing that's changed in the eating and drinking out market is the sectors overlap now. Sure. Uh, much more than they ever have. So Agreed. we get some trade up from QSR. I think especially with the launch of our kids meal lately and, and the offerings that we have and the choices for $5, um, we're going to pull some people up out of that sector, help middle income families. Uh, and in reality, just the um, global flavors that we have picks up millennial parents and uh, a lot of young folks. What is your best selling dish? Do people still, you have all of these healthy options. Right. And your focus, that's where you're, you're trying to, to grow the menu. But do people still eat the mac and cheese? Like, do they make the bad choice, even though that, that, that part of your platform is to offer, offer yeah. healthy eating? Um, people absolutely love our mac and cheese because it's so yummy. Is that uh, right? It, absolutely. It's still a very popular dish. And I will tell you, we're working on a, uh, a cheese sauce that will make it... Uh, Hormone free and gluten free, which will make that even better. But we have. But we it's off. still fattening. <laughs> oh, I, I, people I, I eat gluten free and think, hey, I'm on a diet. Yeah. Not really. Uh, you know, Degan, <laughs> we, we have. I think one thing that's great about Noodles and Company is we're not preachy. We have healthy to indulgent, indulgent dishes. And I tell you, we just announced last night that we have taken out all artificial flavors, colorings, right. sweeteners, and preservatives already out of all of our core menu. Um, what, what's that buff bowl you were telling John about? Our, our buff bowl is four of our popular dishes. And instead of on a bed of noodles, it's on uh, superfood spinach. I see. Uh, and they're, you know, you're talking about 20 grams of carbs and uh, high protein. I think I'd go with Dagan and I'd take the mac and cheese. <laughs> wow. can, can, can you tell us quickly? about American consumers, do you see any sign that they are more, more interested in doing that in discretionary spending, take a few more dollars out of their pockets right now? You know, I, I think so. I, well, you know, one of the, just the realities of life, we're all so busy and, and one of the things we like at Noodles & Company is we say a lot of life happens around a bowl of noodles. That's where you have great conversations and relationships. So people still want to go out. And if you can provide the food that they want, the great tasting with the real cooking like we do, you know, you still draw people in, but it's competitive. We're looking at that stock price. How are you going to get the stock up? Well, it, you know, it's the things that we, we're doing now. We, you know, we're telling our food story. We're focused on, we have a great platform of assets across the U.S., and it's really building economies of scale and doing a great job in the, in the trading areas. That Kevin, we're good to have you on the show today. Thank you so Thank much. You. We'll nice be watching Kevin Reddy at Noodles & Company next.